Hi, I am Kasun Nithanage. I am going to explain you how we can set up a CI CD pipeline for WSO2 API manager with Jenkins. You can use any other automation tool for set up this pipeline, but in this example, we are focusing on Jenkins. So, first, you will need to have a working Jenkins installation, and in this Jenkins installation, you will need to have installed. Uh, this latest version of API MCLI tool which you can download from here and also you will need to set up your API manager instances running with latest API import export tool which you can download from here. So I have already configured these things so in this is my dev environment this is my test environment and this is my production environment so what I need to do is I already have created an API in my development environment uh, which is being published and it has this production URL pointed to dev.wso2.com now I need to promote this API into my test environment and in the published state also I need to change this production URL from dev.wso2.com to test.wso2.com upon the promotion so to set up this first you will need to export this uh, API you can use API MCLI export API and give the API name version and the provider and the environment for export so after the api was exported you can extract this api i have already done it uh, and uh, you can store it inside your repository so in here i have created a simple jenkins file which contains minimal information i have api uh, name in here and i have uh, a configuration script which uh, set up environments for uh, each API manager using API um, CLI tool then as next uh, stages I have uh, defined stages for deploy for test and production and you can see this uh, test and production have different uh, configuration for example in test is so we try time out is 80 and uh, in production it is 60 also as I told you uh, that uh, I uh, wanted to have different endpoints for different environments uh, I have defined them in uh, a file called api params.yml inside my project so you can see this uh, in here for dev environment i am defined uh, defining it as dev.wso2.com and for test it is test.wso2.com and for production it is pod.wso2.com and you can see for each environment i have defined a retry timeout you can see i also have defined it as an environment variable in this parameters file I also have defined it as an environment variable you can see this dollar mark so when tool imports this API using import API command it will automatically detect this parameters file and look for each environment variable and create an artifact for you containing all the necessary details for the deployment and also we have put this update flag in here uh, which does this uh, updating the same API if it is already existing or create a new one if it does not exist so what we want to do is update the same API throughout our pipeline so I have already committed and pushed this to my git repository you can see it here then what I need to do is I I need to set up a pipeline I can uh, set up using new item I already have done it 
and inside this uh, you can see this uh, master branch I am going to build this uh, pipeline now so you can see uh, Jenkins is uh, checking out from version control and uh, now it is uh, setting up environments and now it is deploy into test environment and production environment you can see uh, everything was success so if we go to test environment you can see now pet store is available on test environment 2 and it is in published state as it was published in our dev environment and if we take a look at the production URL you can see it is changed from dev.wsoto.com to test.wsoto.com also in the production environment you can see API is also published and it has a different production URL it is pod.wsoto.com so now you have seen uh, how to set up a simple pipeline for WSO2 API manager you can also have different certificates for different environment you can also define it in our parameters file it is a really powerful tool you can use to set up complex pipelines for continuous integration you can learn about this more in our documentation thank you